Yesterday, we made the two semaphores and the two searchlights. And today, I'd like to get the two smaller signal lights done and a good start on the uh, binoculars. Now, for the smaller signal lights, they, they also take three pieces each, as did the larger ones, except that these are a lot smaller. Correction, they only take two pieces. Why did I think it took three? Okay, bonus, only two, but uh, very tiny. Now my plan is that what I'm going to try to do is do all of my work between this arrow and this E7. That way I'll know that uh, you can see what I'm doing and I don't need to keep looking up at the monitor. Um, okay, and I'm also going to try to not continually poke at stuff. I know we probably talked about that maybe 50 times during this series, but I do seem to have this I guess, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, always wanting to poke at something and turn it. And I, I do realize that, you know, every once in a while, ch change the perspective and you can see it better. But to be constantly poking at something, it must really be annoying. So I'm going to try to not do that unless I absolutely have to. Now, this, this piece of photo etch has to be bent, as you can see in this, see right here. It's, it's, not, it's not real, real clear, but uh, it's clear enough that we can tell what's supposed to happen. And uh, when I put the macro lens on, you will be able to see that there are little uh, uh, protrusions on the side of the light that these holes are supposed to, uh, uh, that are supposed to go into these little holes on this piece. You know what, I'm wondering if maybe, uh, I'll put the macro lens on, we'll, we'll look nice and close here. Okay, we're zoomed in about as close as I can get without putting on the super macro. But uh, let's just turn this over here. I, yeah, I was pretty sure that I had seen detail. Yeah, you can see that, that when this is uh, spray painted, we are probably gonna see the detail of a lens there. And you can see the, the little protrusions on the sides that are supposed to go in these holes here and here after these tabs are folded up. Okay, so this one and this one have to be folded up. Okay, so that it will look like this here. Um, let's, let's try and do that first. I'm gonna just put this back in its tin so I don't lose it. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, should I maybe be bending this on Andy's photo etch bender? It, it's almost too small to fit in the photo etch bender, but it would be a little, a little bit maybe, uh, well, let's just see what would happen if I was to try and, where's my knife? Okay, so I, I want to bend it right there. Okay, and I want to bend it right here. Okay, if I can hold it down. Maybe I'll use my screwdriver here. See, the, the problem is I'm trying to do this on camera, so it's... Get this underneath here. I 
There we go. Now the other one. Okay, this, this one here is probably bent too much. Yeah, I bent it too much. No, well, it's somewhat better. Okay, now, now this one here, that I'm touching at the end, I could quit poking at it, okay, right there at the end. Now that one has to be bent down like this. Um, just lay it on its side, grab hold of it. Okay, now push it like this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't, I, this, that's not right. Okay, this, this is supposed to be bent. Okay, now this was supposed to be bent down like this. Then this one was supposed to go up. Okay, then this one was supposed to go down a little bit more. How's that looking? Um, getting the, the general shape I sure do hope I remember to push record. Oops. Well, I've got the general shape. It's not quite, it's not quite square. Um, let's get our little piece of uh, plastic and see if it's going to fit in there now. Okay, now you will notice there are there are two little bumps, not not the ones on the sides, but on the top of this thing. I do believe they are supposed to. Uh, okay, it, it appears to me that if I put it on, come on. Oh. Okay, if I could get it something like that, maybe if I was to grab hold of it 
You have you have no idea how hard this is. I'm scratching up my uh, my instruction manual here, I'm trying to get it to turn on its side there. Now, if I could grab hold of it, something like this. Now, can we get that wedged in there so that the holes in the side of the photo etch I might have to do this off camera. It is just so finicky. One of the viewers is also a uh, a watchmaker, jeweler, repair person. And he uh, made a comment saying something about working with delicate parts. And I, I mentioned back, I commented back to him and I said, every time I do this, I think about somebody who, a jeweler who is try, trying to repair a small mechanical watch, something which people don't do anymore, and, uh, or very seldom, at least not like it used to be. And I almost got it, almost got it there. Okay, is it, is it in place? It almost appears to be in place. If I was to maybe squeeze this together. I don't want to squeeze too hard, it'll go pinging off and I'll never find it. I think I pretty much got it there. Now, I, I think that this, the thing to do, because this is going to be so easily broken out of there, uh, it's, it's not straight though, is it? You, you can see that the, it just doesn't look quite straight. Let me get my other tweezers, they're a little flatter. Now, believe it or not, these are tweezers. Okay, I, th I think we've got it. I can't, I can't quite see it from my perspective. It, I don't know if the pin on the side of, on this side of the light is going through the hole or is it just sort of up against the photo edge? You know what, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to take this off camera here so I can see it. I think it has to go down to just a little bit here more. Oh, what happened now? There. No, I, I think the I think the pins are in the holes. Okay, how much time have I spent doing this? Okay, let's let's just uh, let's just sort of try and glue it like that a little bit. It just doesn't look quite right, though, does it? It doesn't look square. Now, this shot here is just strictly for perspective.
Okay, let's move in on this and I'll show you what I'm planning to do. Now, I realize that the uh, pedestal part of this is going to need a little bit of adjusting. Now, the, the lens part of this is on the other side. In other words, the side I'm touching. That's supposed to be out. This way is supposed to be out. Um, I, I, I just want to make sure that I have the light at the same, at the proper angle for the way. Let's see where something I point better with. Okay, this this part right here. I want to try and have it. Whoops! See, in other words, it's too far down. It keeps wanting to fall down. Oh, now it fell out. Might as well just go all the way around again, I guess. I'm going to end up knocking it off of there, aren't I? I'm trying to turn it. That's oh, that's twisting on me. No, I sure do want this to go pinging out of there. See, it's the it's the wrong way right now. Trying to get just a little bit. Oh, now it seems to be falling in on, in on that bracket. Well, you know what? Maybe if I just put a little bit of, of CA thin right here on this side, and then I can, maybe push the other side more this way. Whoops. Okay, let me get my CA thin going here. Okay, I guess I must have bumped this. I, I don't have any uh, CA on the applicator yet, but I'd like to see if I can straighten it back up here and try not to bump the helping hands. Okay, now we'll get... Okay, now, you can probably see it, there should be just a tiny little bit of uh, extra thin on that. I think that once that cures, which will probably only be in a couple of minutes, then I can put some on the other side. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it around. Now, the other side that I'm touching right now, obviously I've turned this around. The, the other side is, is cured as far as I know, but I'd like to see if I can't just twist this. That's not working. You gotta... You, you can see that the light is not, is not straight in, in the bracket. In other words, the, the, the pin that comes out of this side right here that I'm just touching right now is is not back in the hole. Now, if I could just hook onto this with something. Okay, this is uh, one of the ends of the holder downer. And um, if I could grab hold of this and pull it at the same time Doesn't want to come. I'm probably moving it out of your field of view here. Maybe if 
if I was to sort of hold against myself. Now, is this really this important, Ron? Okay, I'm just going to put a, a little, uh, a little tiny bit of uh, extra thin right there. I better check and make sure I haven't bumped this out of focus. No, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Let's see. There we go. That should be enough. This may not work, but we'll give it a try. I just want to see if it'll be a little easier to manipulate the uh, small pieces when using my shop microscope here. How many times in the past when we've had the macro lens on haven't you heard me say this? You can see this a whole lot better than I can. Well, now it's the other way around and I can see it a whole lot better than you. Oh yeah, I can see it way better. Okay, now we, we spent about 15 minutes mucking around uh, with these little pieces here, if you, you know, uh, on the first one. And I don't want to be doing that again, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And uh, we'll look at it after I'm done. Now I realize I had said that I had wanted to work on the binoculars today, but uh, that's going to have to be tomorrow now. I think this one went slightly better than the last one. Oh, forgot to turn on my light here. Okay, that might be better. It's better for me anyway. Yeah, I, I think I did a, a better job of getting the, uh, the bracket bent. It, it's not so, you might say, crooked. Okay. Thanks for watching. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow.